Yo guys, what's going on? You guys don't know how great it feels to be back on a bike and vlogging. You guys have no idea. It's been so long. Let's roll the intro with me screaming on Fiona and um, let's get get this this vlog going. Ready with 2G! 2G! Ready with 2G! Ready with 2G! Ready with 2G! Exploring. I believe I'm in Umatilla, Florida, home of the. Fuck if I know. That was a. I think that's Umatilla North Lake Community Park. There's a ton of like fields and stuff all in there. It's a, it's a pretty cool park. We're gonna go back the way we came. I came. Only because some more exploring to do down here. I feel like I'm going faster than I am. I look down, I'm doing 40. I wonder if that's the effect of having loud pipes. Man, I don't know how some of you guys deal with living with these things. It throws me off that the pipes are so loud on that. Yeah, I came here earlier and I couldn't figure out what is back here. But we're not going to go that way. We're going to go back the way I came. I'm turning into that guy. This is slowly turning me. I'm doing things that it's going to slowly turn me into that guy. Is this the way I want it to go? Yeah, I want to try this way out and see what's down here. Twin Ponds Road. That's a steep, steep drop off. Pavement ends. Oh, hell no. Pavement ends means Reggie with two G's turns around. Reggie with two G's does not deal with pavement ending. See that sign that says 20 with whoop, 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 whoop? That's generally a good thing, but I think this road ends too. I've never been down here. There's all kinds of gravel in there. I can see it from here. Man, that is a nice lake. Nice lake right there. There's all kinds of hidden things like this in this county. I notice. Hopefully this leads somewhere that I'm familiar with. I have no idea where this comes out at. Oh, I know where I'm at. We're back at the airport. We're turning around because I know exactly where I'm at. We are so turning around. We are so turning around right now. You guys have no idea. This is the road I've actually been looking for. I didn't realize I found it. nice piece of pavement that I've never heard of. I didn't think I would find it. Um, yeah. Alright, you know what? I've always wanted to do this topic. We're going to do the topic of sport bike versus cruisers. I've been riding this thing for about 40 miles now, so I'm, I'm an expert on it now. Alright, first of all, I hate when people try to compare these two styles of bike because initially, right off the bat, the second I sat on this and rode this around my my area for like a mile to make sure everything was good with what I fixed, I was like, what the heck? It's completely different. It is not the same. The the, the braking's different. The, the seating position is different. And, and I know I'm in a more relaxed position than the other, than the other guys are. Okay. 
I wasn't speeding there. I was only going five over. Not bad. Um, so there's no comparison. I wish I'd ridden a muscle cruiser to compare the sense of acceleration, but I haven't, so I can't really compare it that way. Not too much. Too far down. Um, but I will say just how you ride, the riding position, the, the, the way the power comes on, I'm used to a windscreen being like right here, it's all completely different. And they both have their pros and cons, I mean, with the cruiser, for the most part you're relaxed. The sitting on your tailbone does suck, but you're not arched over. Um, and they're different strokes for different folks, and they both are great. You know, I hate people who put people in categories and um, act like because you ride a certain style of bike, that's all you're supposed to ride, and they don't respect you because of it. Let's see. Let's, try. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. You know, we're all on two wheels. We're all out there worrying about people hitting us. We should all be working together and not against each other. It's not even ridiculous, it's just ridiculous. What the heck? Nobody should be allowed to have that much. I literally got up to like, I have no idea, I'm about to watch the tape back like a hundred without even blinking. That is ridiculous. Um, back to what I was saying, but smart bikes, they're made for speed. They're made for cornering. Cruisers are made for cruising. You can really get more in and more enjoyable time if you think about what you're riding and ride the way it's intended. Not work against each other and be like, oh, you suck. If you don't ride a supermoto or a sport bike, you're not cool. Bump that crap, man. Bump that 100%. If you're riding on two wheels, you're cool. That's all that matters. Nothing else matters. As long as you're riding on two wheels. So I don't care what anybody says. If someone tries to tell you differently, tell them to shut up. You know, cruisers are great for cruising. Sport bikes are great for sporting. They're great for back roading. They're great, you know, just for all around. But cruisers are great too. So if you're looking to buy a bike, don't just buy a bike because you think it's cool. Think about what you're buying before you buy it, what you're going to use it for. Don't just, oh, I want a super sport, you know, 1000, um, um, Jigster 1000 because they're cool looking. Be like, huh, where am I riding? I'm going to be riding on dirt roads most of the time. Don't buy a super sport for that. Get yourself a dual sport. Get yourself a super motor for that. And vice versa, if you're doing long, long commutes, and you know it's going to hurt your tailbone, get a sport tour. Or even a, you know, if you think you can handle a super sport, get a super sport for that. I just don't understand how people think about this stuff and, and try to put everyone in boxes. So, you know, I, I'm going to be threading the line between super sport and, and sport and uh, super sport. Sport tour and um, cruiser all the time. So, if anyone has a problem with it, why is the speed limit 30 over here? Oh, I know where I'm at. That's where this comes out? I should go back the other way and see where it goes. I don't know where that goes. I know where it comes out. We're going to start to head home. So, I'm going to have to make a U turn somewhere around here and go back the way I came. Well, not go back the way I came. This is actually going back the way I came. But yeah, if you ride a uh, a sport bike or whatever, don't be hating on them. You know, I, I, it seems like that happens a lot. And I don't know if that's a YouTube thing or if that's for real. But it seems like that happens a lot. And it's not cool. Ride what you ride. Love what you ride. That's what it boils down to. And, um, yeah, I, I, 
I went really fast for like no reason. Don't expect me to be doing wheelies anytime soon. I'll put it to you like this. I couldn't wheelie on a bicycle. I'm not wheeling on something that can kill me if I don't know what I'm doing correctly. So don't try to give me tips. I don't want to hear it. All you're going to do is put the idea in my head. I tried a wheelie. And uh, that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. Um, I don't even like being on one foot, let alone one wheel. Anyway, I'm going to go, guys. Ugh. And um, I will talk to you guys on the next video. Oh, that's right. As usual, guys, don't forget to leave a comment below. If you take the time to comment on my videos, I will take the time to reply. I stole that from one down four up, but I am in the same boat as he is. Please, please, please leave comments. I love them. You know, I would like to interact with people on here. Um, if you, uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. You know, hit that subscribe button for more content. I post videos every Tuesday, Friday, and hang out on Saturday, an awkward hangout with uh, me and a bunch of uh, bloggers. Why did you look at me like that? I'm going the, the speed limit, lady. You're the one that's speeding. No, what was I? Um, yeah, so please, please, please leave a comment. Uh, please, you know, if you subscribe, check me out. You know, I do a hangout every, every, every Saturday. Um, usually it starts around 10. I've been trying to get it started earlier, but I can't for some stupid reason. But check that out. And uh, like I said, like I always say, I will catch you guys on the next video. Adios.